JavaScript, type of operator, returns the type of a variable. A is a number. Now it is a string. Now object. Do you know what is backbiting? They said, Allah and his messenger know best. He said, when you mention your brother in a way that he dislikes. It was said, what if that which I mention exists in my brother? He replied, if what you mention exists in him, then you committed backbiting against him. If what you mention does not exist in him, then you have slandered him. JavaScript. Adding HTML, select element dynamically. Let's obtain the data from this array of objects. If this data were to come from a database, it would have a similar structure. Adding a variable named select to store the generated select element. Through the options array, using for each we iterate. O represents the current element. Let's define a new option. The current element's text will be the option's text and its value will be the option's value. To the select element, append the option element. And to document's body, append the select element. Let's try. Successful. JavaScript reference types and value types. We have two arrays with the same elements in them. Console log checks if they are equal. Are they equal? No. Arrays are reference types and they are compared by their memory locations. The console asks if the memory locations are equal. The answer is no. These are different arrays stored in different places. Say, I'm only a man like you, but it has been revealed to me that your God is only one God. On the other hand, value types like numbers, strings, and booleans are compared by their actual values. So, whoever hopes for the meeting with their Lord, let them do good deeds and associate none in the worship of their Lord. JavaScript functions and methods. Let's add a function named add. This function will return the sum of two numbers. If we had written this function inside an object like this, we would have called it a method. Add is a method of calculate object. A man came to the messenger of Allah and said, O messenger of Allah, who among the people has the most right to my good company? He replied, Your mother. The man said, Then who? He replied, Your mother. The man said, Then who? He replied, Your mother. The man said, Then who? He replied, Then your father. Let's test our function and method. They both work. Let's add a new function named subtract to calculate the difference between two numbers. When this function is placed inside an object, it becomes a method. If we call the calculate objects subtract method with one and one, it will return zero. Vanilla JavaScript refers to using plain, pure JavaScript. No framework, no library. Here is an example. We did not use Angular React View jQuery Express Backbone Ember or another library or framework. We used vanilla JavaScript, pure JavaScript. The sun eclipsed in the lifetime of all his apostle on the day when his son, Ibrahim, died. So the people said that the sun had eclipsed because of the death of Ibrahim. All his apostle said, the sun and the moon do not eclipse because of the death or life. JavaScript Merge two arrays using spread operator. With the three dots, known as the spread operator, we spread the elements of the A and B and put them into a new array. Here is the result. The prophet said, do you have a mother? He said, yes. The prophet said, stay with her, for paradise is beneath her feet. JavaScript, showing button-based messages. The final result of what we are going to do is this. Let's add the buttons. The added buttons appear in the center because I set the body CSS to text align center. Clicking the buttons will change this paragraph. Let's open the script tags and write JavaScript code. Select all button elements with an ID attribute and store them in a variable. 
Loop through all buttons, assigning the show explanation function to their click events. Let's write show explanation. We will get explanations using button IDs. Text content of the result paragraph will be replaced with the explanation. The get explanation function takes the ID of the clicked button. The explanation function contains an object with key value pairs, where each key corresponds to a button ID. If no match is found, it will return no explanation. Let's try it. Successful. JavaScript button on click function. Let's add a button. Write change background inside. When clicked, make change background function run. Let's add the change background function. When called, set the document's background color to this. Let's try the code. Successful. For better separation of concerns, we can write our code like this. Also, a white has no superiority over a black, nor a black has any superiority over a white except by piety and good action. JavaScript event listeners. Let's add a button with the ID test and toggle colors written inside. We can access HTML IDs as global variables in JavaScript code. We have added an event listener. When the mouse hovers over the button, the setDark function will be called. Let's add another listener. We can attach multiple listeners to a single element. This time, when the mouse moves away from the button, the setLight function will be called. Let's add the setDark and setLight functions. When the set dark function is called, the background color of the document will change to black and the text color of the button will change to purple. When the set light function is called, the background color of the document will change to white and the text color of the button will change to black. Let's try the code we have written and see what happens. When I hover the mouse over the button, the set dark function runs. When I move the mouse out of the button, the set light function runs. When your companion dies, then do not abuse him. JavaScript, how to read a local JSON file using Fetch API. Let's write a test JSON file. The JSON file contains a country's array with objects having keys and values. Let's read the file with JavaScript. Fetch test JSON retrieves a response from the file. After fetching, take the response and Use its JSON method to obtain a JavaScript object. This arrow function returns a JavaScript object. Related data is transmitted as a string. Now we have JavaScript object. Then take the JavaScript object and send it to the show info function. Here is the show info function. Takes the data and writes the countries to the console. If we hadn't converted it into an object, we couldn't access properties like data.countries or perform operations like sorting, filtering, or manipulation. JavaScript, making the page editable in the browser. Write to the browser console. Document body, content editable true. Now you can edit the page content. Let's change one minute coder to two minute coder. To disable editing, we write document body content editable equals false. A true believer does not taunt or curse or abuse or talk indecently. JavaScript object methods. Let's add an object named person. Let's add a few key value pairs. We call these key value pairs properties. Now let's add a method. When a function is used within an object, we call it method. When we invoke this method, it will write something to the screen. We can print the values of properties using dot notation. We can also invoke the methods using dot notation. When they are told, do not spread corruption in the land, they reply, we are only peacemakers. JavaScript, mapping object property values. Let's add an array of objects. Our goal will be to obtain the values of all the name properties. 
we will use the map method. The map method generates a new array. We assign the resulting array to the names variable. The new array contains name property values from each object. To enhance clarity, let's write the function inside the map method as this. The function takes each object and returns only the name property. Let's use a regular function instead of an arrow function. Let's use a separate named function. When we pass an object to this function, it returns the value of the name property. Let's use it. We wrote the same thing in a few different ways. Now let's look at the results. Each one worked correctly. We obtained all the names. And never think that Allah is unaware of what the evildoers do. He only delays them for a day when eyes will stare. JavaScript callback function. The function add takes a and b and returns their sum. And the divide function returns a divided by b. The calculate function accepts two numbers, x and y, and a function. When I call the calculate function, I am essentially invoking the function specified in the operation parameter. If I pass add, it returns the sum of x and y. If I pass divide, it performs a division operation. Let's pass 2 for x, 2 for y, the sum is 4. 2 for x, 2 for y, the division result is 1. The add function is a callback because it is passed to another function for later execution. Seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim. JavaScript. Swapping two values. A is 1. B is 2. Using array destructuring, we swapped the values of A and B. So, B now holds the value of A, which is 1. There is no God but Allah, alone, with no partner. To Him belongs the dominion, and praise is due to Him, and He has power over all things.